हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लेट्स डू इट आई एम श्रुति इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल शेयर टू योर फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव्स यूर नेबर्स यूर जूनियर्स एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ द सीरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू हीरो एंड द टूडे टॉपिक इज लॉस ऑफ इंडाइस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू नो द लॉस ऑफ इंडाइस Let me tell you, here a raised to m. In this, a means what? It is base, and m means it is power, or it is called as index, or it is called as an exponent. So here, a is called as base, and here m is called as power, or an index, or an exponent. okay so this is read as a to the power m here a is base and m is a power or index or exponent so let us see the laws a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to what a raised to m plus n second one a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n third one a into b to the power m is equal to a to the power m into b to the power m fourth one a to the power 0 is equal to 1 fifth one a raised to minus m is equal to 1 divided by a raised to m sixth one a to the power m the whole power n is equal to a raised to m into n a divided by b the whole power m is equal to a to the power m Divided by b to the power m. Eighth one, a divided by b the whole power minus m is equal to b divided by a the whole power m. A to the power m divided by n is equal to nth root of a to the power m. Let us understand this law one by one. First one, a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Here the bases are same, and in between we have multiplication sign. So if bases are same, and if we have the multiplication sign, then their power will add. That is a to the power m plus n. Okay. Let's take an example: six to the power two into six to the power one. So here the bases are same. That is six and six. in between we have multiplication sign multiplication sign and if the bases are same is what we have to do we have to add the powers that is the base is 6 and the powers are 2 plus 1 this will be what 6 to the power 3 what is 6 to the power 3 6 into 6 into 6 like this we have to calculate okay write down the answer yourself okay a to the power 2 Into a to the power five. Here also the bases are same, and we have multiplication sign. Therefore, the power will be added. So the base is what a, and the powers are two plus five, which is equal to a to the power seven. Okay. Second one, a to the power m. Divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. So here first and second are like brother and sisters. Why? Because here the bases are same. The only difference is the sign. Here we have division sign. In this we have multiplication sign. In multiplication we are going to add the powers. In division we are going to subtract the powers. This is what a to the power Yeah, minus n. So we have example five to the power four divided by five to the power three. Here the bases are same. In between we have division sign. Division sign means we have to subtract the powers. So this is what five to the power four minus three. What is four minus three? It is one. So the answer is what five. We have another example b to the power two. Divided by b to the power one. Here the bases are same. In between we have division sign. Division sign means we have to subtract the powers. So here it is b to the power 
टू माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू बी थर्ड वन वी हाव ए इंटू बी द होल पावर एम हियर द बेसिस आर डिफरेंट बट द पावर इज सेम ओके सो दिस विल बी वॉट ए टू द पावर एम इंटू बी टू द पावर एम वाई बिकॉज द पावर इज सेम दर फोर वी विल बी हैविंग ए टू द पावर एम इंटू बी टू द पावर एम ओके दट इज टेक एन एग्जाम्पल फोर इंटू थ्री द होल पावर फाइव हियर द बेसिस आर डिफरेंट एंड द पावर इज सेम दर फोर इट विल बी वॉट ए टू दट इज फोर टू द पावर फाइव इंटू थ्री टू द पावर फाइव here the base may be same or different also here the base may be different or same also there will be no difference but here the power should be same here the power is common therefore it will be what 4 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 5 let us take another example p to the power m into q to the power m we can reverse this law also how a to the power m into b to the power m will be what a into b the whole bracket m so in this example we have p raised to m into q raised to m so the powers are same so what we can write p into q the whole bracket m right a fourth one here fourth one is very very important why Here we have a to the power zero is equal to one. Why it is one? In mathematics, anything to the power zero is always one. This may be a rational number, an irrational number, or any number. So any number to the power zero will be always one. Remember that. Anything to the power zero will be always one. For example, pi to the power zero will be one. Minus pi to the power zero also will be one. Next, hundred to the power zero will be one also. Thousand to the power zero is also one. Okay, irrespective of number, if there is power zero, means it will be one. Fifth one, a to the power minus m. So here we have in the power minus m. Suppose if we want to convert it to positive, then what we have to do? We have to take a reciprocal of this one. You take the reciprocal, then this minus sign will become positive. Okay, that is a to the power minus m is equal to one divided by a to the power m. Let's take an example. Pi to the power minus two will be what? What we have to take? We have to take the reciprocal of this. That is one divided by pi to the power two. And this minus will after taking the reciprocal, this minus will become plus. Let us take another example. Seven to the power minus three will be what? One divided by seven to the power three. Okay. We can reverse this also. Here we have a to the power m. If you want to convert it to negative sign, what we have to do here also we can take the reciprocal. After taking the reciprocal, this plus will become minus. That is a to the power m is equal to one divided by a to the power minus m. Let's take an example pi to the power two. If you want to make it minus, then what we have to do? We have to take the reciprocal of this one. That is one divided by five to the power. The sign will change. Therefore, it will be minus two. Another example: ten to the power three. I will make this power as minus. Therefore, what I have to do? I have to take the reciprocal of this. The sign will change. That is one divided by ten to the power minus three. Sixth one: a to the power m. The whole power n is equal to what? A to the power m into n. So suppose if we have an example, 
5 to the power 2 the whole power 3 means it can be written as 5 to the power 2 into 3 ok let us take another example suppose if you have 7 to the power 3 the whole power 4 means it can be written as 7 to the power 3 into 4 what is 3 into 4 it is 12 here it is 5 raised to 6 ok we can reverse this ok for example a to the power m into n can be written as a to the power m the whole bracket n let us take an example 5 to the power 6 it can be written as what 2 into 3 right so we can write it as 5 to the power 2 the whole power 3 or else or what it can be written as 5 3 into 2 this will be what 5 to the power 3 the whole power 2 like this also we can write this seventh one a divided by b the whole power m what is a divided by b the whole power m so here we have common as m so this can be written as a to the power m divided by b to the power m because we have common power here the bases are different but the power is same ok example 6 divided by 7 to the whole power 2 so I have taken 2 as same for this one so this will be what 6 to the power 2 divided by 7 to the power 2 ok we can reverse this also how a to the power m divided by b to the power m can be written as a divided by b whole power m for example 7 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 2 here the powers are same so what we can take 7 divided by 3 to the power 2 right 8th one what we have 8th one a divided by b to the whole power minus m as I said before if you want to convert this minus m then what we have to do we have to take the reciprocal here it is in the form of a divided by b the reciprocal of this will be what b divided by a and the sign will change that is m so what is the reciprocal of this b divided by a the whole power m this minus will become plus let us take an example 5 divided by 2 to the power we have suppose minus 3 the reciprocal of this will be what 2 divided by 5 the whole power 3 the numbers will interchange and the sign of this will change ok next we have ninth one a to the power m divided by n this will be what nth root of a to the power m for example what is root of 2 root of 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 by 2 right the power m divided by n can be written as a to the power m whole bracket 1 divided by n according to sixth one what is sixth one a to the power m the whole bracket n which is equal to a to the power m into n therefore here also we have written a to the power m bracket 1 divided by n so as i said here square root of 2 is what 2, 2 to the power 1 divided by 2 so here also a to the m to the power we have 1 divided by n so this will be what nth root of a to the power m for example let us take 5 to the power 3 divided by 2 so this will be what here we have 1 divided by 2 means it is what square root so this one is 5 to the power 3 let us take another example 7 to the power 3 divided by 4 this can be written as what 7 raised to 3 will be same 
but here the root will be what fourth root example 8 to the power 5 divided by 4 so this can be written as 8 is to 5 as it is the root will be which one fourth root okay here I have given some homework try this you will get perfect and write down the answers in the comment section I will be waiting for your comments okay basic algebraic formula you all know this basic formula right but some of you don't know how to put the values and expand them so here we have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab next a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b next we have a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square here we have a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac write down this in the separate notebook so that you can remember this so let us understand by example so i have taken here 2 plus a the whole square it is in which form a plus b the whole square form so here in place of a what we have in place of a we have 2 in, in place of b what we have we have a so what is 2 plus a the whole square which is equal to what a square what is a square here we have 2 square plus b square what is b square a square plus 2 into a b a is what 2 b is what a so this will be what 4 plus a square plus 2 into 2 is 4 4 into a is 4 a is there any light terms no so we will stop the calculation here only okay let us take another example n square minus 3 square it is in which form it is in a square minus b square form so what is a square minus b square it is a plus b into a minus b so in place of a what we have in place of a we have n and in place of b we have 3 so this will be what a plus b means n plus 3 into a minus b a minus b means n minus 3 okay after solving this we will get the answer formula we can reverse also here how a minus 5 into a plus 5 so what is this it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b this will be what a square minus b square in place of a we have a square minus sign as it is in place of b we have 5 so this will be what 5 square okay if you have any doubts please write on the doubts in the comment section thank you